<laughs> Good morning, fellas. Brugaves! So, you'll be our trainer? I wish. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow. But the headmaster was kind enough to let us make it your first day special. Are you ready for training? <laughs> you bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. I received a training sword! Alright, let's get to work. Work! But that ain't gonna work! I like to go to work! I just got back from work! I gotta go to work! Tomorrow! But not today! You got this, Valer. Don't give up now. Never! She's booking it. She's booking it like the save profile. Come on, Zale, keep up. I, I can do this. Oh, look at this positive reinforcement! 99, 100, that's it for today. You did great. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Erlina will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. Erlina is ready to see you. She's waiting just outside the academy entrance. Lovely. I have no need for a break. I'm ready. I am strong protagonistic. I must learn of magic. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn met. I just said I was. It should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. <laughs> it's okay. Just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest. On three. One, two, three. Yeah! Frick! I think I felt it. It tickles. <laughs> right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and Elena! Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I would provide the briefing for your next assignment. As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. I know how to make loom and making magic pieces. A worthy fabric of the star sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what to shape to even make it. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. <laughs> what you doing? What are you doing? That's what I was asking. I'll just walk around a bit. You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Elena. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Zael and Valer were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things. And neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about me, Moyara? What about the twins? Brugaves! Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend! This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go, Brugaves. Hmm. And so they trained, and they sewed for days, and then for months. Faster now! Focus, and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long, and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansing always target... Cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster... If dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? 
Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe. But we cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Zell? What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who is Moyara? That will be all for today. He ain't gonna answer our questions because he's hiding things from us. Likely for the sake of our better good. And likely so, but also the fact that we are already suspicious of you does not, like, come clean. I, I, you might not have even done anything wrong, and it might have been better for us not to know, but the fact that we're suspicious of things is debatably worse than us knowing. So please, just tell us. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Zale, wake up. I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Uh, who cares? Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's go check it out. All right. Hey, look. What's that? What is it? Tell me what it is. Oh, it smells good. There's a note. Dear Zale and Valer, if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you liked. Aww. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try to visit again. But I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. He's writing this on the balcony. <laughs> He's like, on a, he's literally writing this on the balcony because he's like, wait, I can see him and he's waiting for me. <laughs> Your friend until the end of time, Garl. That's funny. Garl's the best. Yeah, I freaking love Garl. Let's go, Garl. Let's go up to the disc to eat the cookies. I got a cookie jar. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Munchy, munchy, munchy. These cookies are freaking fantabulous! Uh, just a slight paraphrase, don't mind that. I can't believe Garl is just there. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. Ha! <laughs> You're probably right. We can't let something like that ever happen again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It'll happen. We just have to keep on training hard. Keep it going! And so they trained and they sewed for years. Oh, look at that proper form. Oh, look at that man. Ooh, look at that man and his push-ups. Ooh, look at him. Ooh, look at that proper form. And they trained and they sewed some more. Oh, yeah, I was doing a one-handed. He's looking so freaking serious. <laughs> Until one day. Don't ask me what that was. Please don't ask me what that was. Zale, Zale, that's the one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can feel it tingle already. I can feel it too. Hold on. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. We got our bandanas. Oh, yeah, look how dapper we look. We look so freaking dapper. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations! Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that. It'll be soon be time for it'll be soon time be for soonness for you to soon leave to under time. It'll soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. <laughs> My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Elena and Brugaves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it'll be time for your final test. So, I've already done this. And then watch this. This is the coolest, this is the coolest freaking thing in the game. Moonerang. Watch this. Just go over here and boom. Boop. 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 Ooh. Let's go! Are you ready for the final test then? Let's go! Then let us begin. Take the leap. Wait, 
I need a I need a reference for this. Cause I'm free <laughs> Free falling And then do this Goodbye You are the weakest link Goodbye Goodbye <laughs> I'm gonna need to stop doing that voice Oh yeah bossy bossy boy Exam road engaged Brace yourselves Oh this is weird Oh this guy's weird We boop Hi me ha me ha Oh he resisted that frick Hoo. Boom Let's go Kame hoop ha boop 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 And then Okay oh 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 da 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 Oh yeah also this level up screen freaking rocks because you get your increase to all of your base stats but then you actually get an option of customizability to the way that you want to do your play style So yeah let's just keep getting that magic attack up I think I like that but I'd rather, I think damage means a lot here. So let's do physical attack. Congratulations. You have been trained well. <laughs> I can't do that. Congratulations. You have been trained well. Return to your headmaster. Congratulations, Zael and Valer. You have learned everything Zenith Academy has to teach you. Ha! We did it. In record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power. The ability to use magic without using magic. To eat a sandwich without eating a sandwich. But that knowledge is for Elder Mish to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. It is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Garl? I, I don't see him. Many years ago, Zael and Valer were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on the two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember. Gran was so happy to meet two more before she passed. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the solstice before. Zael and Valer. Step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the Solstice Warriors. This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hooray! To the gates! What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossing that we can come back after meeting this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Zael, Valer, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail you, Headmaster. Go now through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the mountain trail to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and then you and and you shall then enter the world as true solstice warriors. May Luana's might protect you. May Solon's light protect you. Here, this should uh, keep you fed for a bit. I got three more tomato clubs. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you could take a look at these: an amulet of storytelling, sequence flare. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relic selection in the game menu, accessible with tab, to adjust your appearance. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or are looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. There's bound to be more to find. Remember to keep out an eye for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you well-fed and well-equipped. Now, wherever your adventure takes you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training, for a dire cleansing awaits us. I still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. 
We weren't much older the first time. <laughs> yeah, but we'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse this world! Hiya! Open Sesame! Woo! Woo! Nom, 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 nom. Sure feels easier now. This time, we make it through. The foreboding music. What girl lost his eye? Oh, there it is on the floor. No. <laughs> that'd, be a little, that'd be a little much. Uh, who do what, where, go, where, huh? Fight me, children! Skills! AoE attack! Two, three, four! I win! Ha 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 ha! That was easy. I hope this game doesn't... Well, actually, no, I do hope this game gets harder, actually. I was gonna jokingly say that as if I didn't want that, but I do want that. Parkour! 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 You ready? You ready? Parkour! 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 30 adventurers agree. This vest is the best. What other flavor text is there? Good grip, cleat cheat materials. Mostly made of wood. From that time, Garl snuck into Zenith Academy. Unbeatable when the tomatoes are just right. Look, they're just they're just zooming out. They're just waving their head back and forth. I wave my head back and forth. That, like they're just they're just kind of into it. Goodbye. I got a stuff. I got lettuce. No snails are on nothing but lettuce. All right, let's save upon the paper of the paper man. The book that saves the memories of the game of the characters of the story. Upon the paper with which the story is written upon. Oh, hey, look, an enemy. Valer? Sounds big. Get ready. <laughs> It's a verm. It's a weirm. Oh no, it's a Roigy Biv Weirm. Um Fire Oh, I screwed that up. Wait, what? Why'd that still do 40? Was I supposed to be doing more? Hey. Anyway, let's do this and do our Moonerang like normal. A little early or late on one of those. Oh, I forgot to block Frick. All right, I need you to get some mana back. Ow, I blocked that, brother! Acid bug bombs. Oh, lovely. Nothing makes me happier. Can I just, like, crescent moon this? Yeah, I can. Lovely. So I always need to save for that. Do the damage. Let the damage flow forth. Oh, I suck. It doesn't matter. I'm going to destroy this man like he was never born in the first place. Well, one of, I'm going to see what one of these guys do. Oh, that's not that bad. I mean, it's damage, but it's like, not that bad. One, two, three, four. Goodbye! Oh yeah, let's go. Our first big one. <laughs> we did it. Looks like there's a way out over there. The mountain shouldn't be much further now. Yeah, give me that treasure. And another adventurer's vest. Let's equip it to you. Let's go up. Hi, guys. Things are starting to move. I'm eager to see which of those two can. Eager and impatient, too. For now. For now, we wait. I don't know how to be evil. Hmm. I just turn into an Austin Powers villain. Hmm. Three. You know what to do.
Lovely. I love having dark foreshadowing. All right. And you wanna you wanna see what's so freaking cool about this game? Doing its best Stardew impression. I have to learn how to fish. I can buy things, and I already got two of those. So let's equip now to you. And yes, let's sell that. And then let's equip now that to you, and then sell that. Here we go. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere in here, huh? And that's where we started the entire campaign. So now we got this. I really hope we'll get a chance to return to Moon Cradle after this. What if we're sent into the world right away? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just wish Garo were here. We could certainly use some Celestial Willow Jam to go with this awful bread. <laughs> the dream. Huh? Celestial Willow Jam? Did somebody say Celestial Willow Jam? Good evening, everybody! My name is Garl, and I've got some right here for you guys! I even picked some mushrooms. You won't believe the soup I'll make! It's freaking Garl! Oh my gosh, it's Garl! Oh, and I found some herbs in the Forbidden Cavern. They'll do just right! I don't know why I'm giving him an announcer voice, but I'll do it. Carl! Ha, what, you didn't really think I was going to let you go on an adventure without me, did you? Carl. Haha, <laughs> it's so good to see you two again. You look so strong now. Hey, why didn't you show up for our departure? Are you kidding? There was absolutely no announcement! As soon as I heard everyone gather, I went to our hard out to pack my stuff, but you left so fast. Guys, I'm so pumped for this journey. I know all about survival now. Fishing and gathering and cooking and... Well, what's wrong? You... you can't actually come with us. We just wanted to say goodbye. Or... We're, we're on duty now and it's pretty dangerous. You can't mean that. We've always talked about how we'd all leave together after your training. Plus, I spent all those years practicing in our little cave. I'm ready. Look, I may not have any special powers like you do, but I'm built strong and I've been preparing. This here is my shield. I'll be a defensive fighter. No, I'll be a warrior cook. Oh yeah? Sure am, and I've been reading a lot too. See, most of the monsters you're going to face won't even be Fleshmancer minions, which means anyone can fight them. Are you sure about that? Totally, you haven't seen any yet, have you? No, but... I'll know when to step aside. Don't worry. Plus, you can't really travel the world with just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? That's... Yeah. See? You need me. You just do your souls to swore your duties and I'll keep your bellies full. Carl. Deal? Okay. Deal. Oh, I'm so happy. No way. This is awesome. Haha! <laughs> All right, I'll start the kettle. We have much catching up to do. Garl, the warrior cook, joins the party. Aw, ain't they just the cutest little bundle of fans? And so apparently after we meet this Elder Mist, we'll be able to use magic without using magic and be sent into the world. And that's what we've been told. I guess finding our own way is the final step of training. The first assignment is to get to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. Wow, that's... that's a lot. Your powers sound cool, though. Can't wait to see them in action. So how about you, Garl? Oh, it was perfectly uneventful, to be honest. All I did was train and learn the skills I thought would come in handy. Every single day, I was hoping to see you come out. I'm sure glad no one told me it would take ten years. Yeah, we miss you, too. It's not fair that we were together. We were together, and you had to do this on your own. <laughs> Well, we're all together now, and it doesn't matter anymore. I can't wait to explore the world. I want to taste everything. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Right? Mm-hmm. So, how much food did you pack? Just enough for a few meals. It's better to travel light, and there's ingredients everywhere if you know where to look. And who knows what we'll find? It's all part of the adventure. Why don't you try now, Zale? See that bush right over there? It's full of juicy berries. All you have to do is pick them. I don't mind if I do. 
Perfect. Now we'll make some jam with the berries you picked. Just interact with the campfire and get ready to cook. I shall indeed. The campfire feels cozy and warm. I shall cook. Let him cook! I'll get some jam, please. Just one. That's all I need. And look at the art! Berry jam. I got some berry jam. I got some berry jam. Jam? Jam! Now introducing berry jam! That's so, oh, that's, oh, that's some dissonance right there. See, you're a natural. We can eat that jam later when we need to heal up. And thanks for the tip, Scarl. It's gonna come in handy for sure. <laughs> Don't mention it. Hey, I'm, I'm ready for some sleep. <laughs> Same here. And nothing but the stars above us. I'm loving this life already. Garl, I'm, I'm really glad you're here. Even though I'm standing like two freaking inches in front of your face. Ha! I was just about to say that. You are standing really freaking close to his face. What the frick, dude? Me too, guys. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, good night. Good morning. You all ready to go? I'm excited to see what this elder mist looks like. Should be straight up. That means I can just go to a fishing pond and save, right? No, I can't save here, bro. What the frick, where's my next save file? I just wanna save the game. I just wanna save the game, I wanna take a shower. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna warm my hands. I'm so cold. I just wanted to save. I, actually, I can save right over here, I think, I'm pretty sure. Book, book. The book of the paper man. Over right, yes. And that's where I'm going to leave off. Probably not a whole episode going to be done here, but uh, I've been the paper, just in case it is, I've been the paper man, and this has been A Sea of Stars, the beginning of a wonderful, wonderful RPG. Can't wait to see where the rest of the characters and the story goes, but until next time, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll, I'll let you live your life after that. Bye, thanks. Have a nice time.